no working left anymore, and things calmed down. So somewhere in this six-hour ordeal, the announcers needed something to talk about. They opted to discuss the Impact Wrestling Fantasy Game. <laughs> and uh, I had not done this before, but I happened to go to the Impact Wrestling Fantasy page and look at some of the scoring. And so the idea is you pick a crew of wrestlers, and whenever those, that your crew does something, you get points, and whoever gets the most points wins. Fine. Fine. Here are some of the ways you can get points. Appearing in a match, five points. Clothesline, which is spelled C-L-O-S-E-L-I-N-E. Clothesline. <laughs> That's only one point. First person or group of people to enter the impact zone, ten points. Getting the pinfall, one point. Because <laughs> wins and losses don't matter. Hitting a referee, twenty points. <laughs> you can pin 20 men or hit one ref. <laughs> In-ring mic session, 10 points. Interrupting a match, 10 points. Referee getting hit, 20 points. Uh, turning on an ally, 10 points. Of course. Using a chair in a match, 3 points. Using a rare object in the ring. A ten, rare object. That's what it says. A uh, 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 dodo bird. A red steak. <laughs> Fuck. 10 points. <laughs> Oh my god, this show. This is That's everything. What's amazing about this is they they went out of their way during this match to start talking about the TNA fantasy game to plug it. I guess because they're hoping it will make a little money. How about plugging your fucking pay-per-view? I don't know. Involved in a non-scheduled fight outside the ring, 10 points. Kidnapping an audience member, 10 points. <laughs> They repeat this. Kidnapping an audience member. Yeah. They are endorsing flagrant illegality. This show sucks. This show, this show can lick my balls. How about plugging your fucking pay-per-view?